Hi, my name is Eleanor and you're watching Charlie Beach on YouTube. Hello, rivals with dark color, poverty, power, riches, social media, and money. Foam party, my god, look, foam party. All right, let's try not go for too long. Copyrighted music all around. Look at the physics here, I like this one. So, uh, I'll avoid it, but um, the song that was playing in that Jeep thing where it kind of went up and down and round and round for little kiddies, it was that great 90s classic, I wanna have sex on the beach, come on everybody. And then I was like looking at the toddlers going, this is not really, but then I went, eh, what the hell? What the hell? It's not the worst thing that can happen. A bunch of kids hearing a song saying, I want to have sex on the beach. Compared to what they see on TikTok, on TV, what they're encouraged to do. Okay, rant over, cut. See, it's uh, important to state that uh, every single Chinese person you see around me here is uh, not under the direct control of the Chinese Communist Party because they are here in Great Britain. So uh, just bear that in mind. Hello mate, how are you? Can I get a f Oh yeah. No worries, that, that'll do. Thank you. Happy New Year. Okay, now where did those cops go? Something's happening. Oh, bloody copyrighted music. Come okay, we're in. We're in the square. The important one. This is where it's all happening. Let's see what's going on back there. Okay, yes, I have uh, trimmed my beard. It was getting a bit, a bit vagrant. It never grows. You know, when you're trying to grow a beard, it never grows out like King Leonidas, Gerard Butler. It always grows out like dirty Santa, you know, like uh, crackhead Santa. So I shaved it. And the reason I'm filming here, I really want to catch what I would consider corruption, you know, like evidence of any Chinese Communist Party propaganda here, because love the Chinese people, love the human beings of China, can't say the same for the authoritarian regime. Okay, we'll just have a quick zoom in on the stage, see what's going on. Police are looking for someone, security is pointing someone out. Let's have a look. Coming to you live on the Charlie Beach channel. Better not be copyrighted Chinese music playing in the background there. Probably is. We'll see what we can do. It looks like they're blessing every shop. Going around with a dragon and the drums. Yep, they've gone into the faux restaurant. I have to admit, I do love the noise. Some good quality noise going on.
Hello. Gonna run a run a story past you guys. True story happened yesterday. Met a young viewer. He was about 21. In fact, no, um, that was part of the chat we had. He's 19. Uh, nice viewer. We'll call him Jay. And um, he's like, Charlie, like, I love your videos, man. But what is up with your comment section? I said, What do you mean? He goes, It's full of like hate crime, hate comments, bigotry. I'm like, Well, yeah, man. It's uh, outside my control. It's not my video. I'm not a hateful, bigoted person, and uh, you know, I can't. You know, and he's like, well, do something about it. I was like, well, what do you mean? I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start shutting them all down. And I explained to him every single comment, whether good or bad, helps the algorithm. It's engagement. I explained to him about likes and dislikes, about comments, about viewer duration. And then uh, he was basically implying that I should um, censor my comment section. And I said to him, I said, look, Jay. I'm clearly from a different generation to you. I'm maybe about 20 years older than you. In my generation, we didn't just censor people we disagreed with, we argued with them. So I just want to reiterate that uh, there's an inherent potential irony in my work is that if you have a, a modern mindset where you think people's, oh hey, mate, how are you doing? If you think people's um, thoughts that are different to yours should be shut down, then you might see what I do as fighting free speech, but that's stupid. Anyone that remembers the old world knows that the epitome of free speech is having a good heated argument in public where no one gets punched in the face. I encourage heated arguments. I encourage passionate debate. I encourage people to challenge their uh, thinly held dogmas and low resolution viewpoints. And for, for that, I massively support free speech, so if you watch my channel and you think that when I challenge vegans or communists or scammers or fraudsters or whatever, philosophers, and have an argument with them, I'm not shutting them down. I'm opening them up and it's important to state that distinction. Okay, speaking of the good old world, cash only baby, yeah, fight back, woo! Okay, we're here in uh, the covered section of Market Street, busiest street in Manchester for pedestrian shoppers. And I've caught the voice of the voiceless vegan activist group getting set up. So as you can see, they bring out the flat screens, which they wear on their chests, and they display graphic images from UK slaughterhouses or chicken farms or or what have you now they present it as uh, standard UK practice to uh, torture animals and I always argue with them in a nice heated yet peaceful free speechy type debate that to present graphic animal abuse as standard UK practice is an absolute insult. An absolute insult to the British love of animals and the dedicated animal husbandry of the vast majority of UK farmers. So here we are back on Market Street. Uh, the group Voice for the Voiceless are uh, doing their displays as we introduced it earlier. At the moment, they're on pork. There's uh, images of pork slaughterhouses, pigs being mistreated, pigs being abused. Now, they're not wearing masks. They've uh, lost the uh, V for Vendetta masks. I respect that. But they've put on the, um, the pandemic face masks, shall we say. So they're still covering their identity whilst they show these uh, graphic images at child height as they walk past. Yeah. 
Okay, we're at Uniqlo. I'm just going to test my Japanese. I studied Japanese for three years at university. Okay, let me try and uh, analyze it. Lifewear is clothing designed to make everyone's life better. It is simple, high quality, everyday clothing with a practical sense of beauty. Ingenious in detail, thought through with life's needs in mind, and always evolving. How did I do? Oh, I did very well. Look, I got it 100% right. Okay, um, we're at the bus. Sorry? I'm a, I'm a, I usually follow the cops, see what they're up to, but uh, this is a Glasgow bus, isn't it? Is someone going to get pinched? Oh. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I work with the police. I'm just a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go back in. I'll go back in. I'll go back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I'll go. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I'll go. I'll go back in. All right. I'm yeah. off. See ya. Are you catching a coach? No comment, mate. Listen, I'm not a bad guy. I'm just trying to get some photons. Just trying to get some shots because I'm interested in what the cops are doing. It's it's, Shouldn't, it's not your interest at all. So if you'd like to leave, please. Thank you. It's okay. Yeah. Oh no, the lady needs you. The lady needs no, you. Yeah, but if you leave first, I'll go and see them. What if I don't want to leave? If you don't want to leave, okay. the police officer will get you to leave. Okay, don't, don't, you shouldn't throw threats. This is Great Britain. People are free to do a little bit no, of stuff. You're not allowed to film I'm not against... Ah, oh, no, come on. Yeah. Damn yourself, dude, no. Yeah. I'm not throwing threats. You haven't asked permission for, for these to be filmed, have Damn you, sir? Yourself, and you haven't asked me permission to be filmed. If you'd like to turn your camera off for me. No, I'm, I don't want to turn my camera off. I want okay. to film if the police are going to arrest anyone. That's honestly, that, I'm just They're a YouTuber. Not going to arrest anyone. Okay, fair enough. If, if they arrest someone, that means that it's someone who needs arresting, doesn't it? Well, I never. That's what I'm here to capture. Why? Just so you know, my what? name's Charlie Veach. I'm a YouTuber. There's nothing. Yeah, well, I wouldn't like to, I'm a good Scottish to, guy like these lot. Yeah, but you know. you're, not allowed to, you're not allowed to film on private property. Yeah, but it's kind of a grey area. It's not anything that you guys should get too stressed about. No, it is because this is private property. Yeah, but eh, with public access and eh, you know, paid it's for not, by the not taxpayer, like Scotland, is paid it? for by the taxpayer, and you know all that good stuff. So no, it's, not, it's not like it's Scotland. There's but let's no, just look, you guys aren't going to physically manhandle me. So let's just all chill out and let me get my photons I'll be gone in two minutes yeah, I'll, be go. gone. I'll be gone yeah, I'll be gone in two minutes now, please. yeah but there's police right there if you're that upset about it go chat to the cops and it's fine guys honestly it's not a big deal well, if you just mind turning the camera off I don't understand why you're getting so stressed because, out about it because you've not asked permission for it they, they yeah but film, have you? they've not given permission for all the CCTV and all that good stuff private property that's why right. well public access paid for by the taxpayer so I feel justified Technically not. anyway you guys have been polite with me to a certain extent, a little bit, maybe a little bit forceful, but um, anyway, name's Charlie Veach, please subscribe on YouTube, I'm not a bad guy. Oh, I won't be subscribing, don't worry. Ooh, that's a bit bitchy. No, because I don't do YouTube or anything. Oh, fair enough, no, nothing against me personally. Okay, thank you guys. He's there. Uh, Speaking to the police about me. You ever seen this, guys? Everyone getting searched, bags searched, everyone getting checked, leaving here for. Oh no, it's someone getting handcuffed. I'm going to ask you one more time, sir. If oh, come move, on. No, my sorry. photons, my photons. No, if you don't move, I'm going to ask oh. you one more time. I'm not touching your camera. No, you're a nice guy. Yeah. Let's all be nice. British. Um, Good British style. It's just not British of a. Of a man in uniform to, to stop a man filming. It's not British. It is. It's not British. Because I'm asking you politely. Yeah, politely, but you're still trying to control my behaviour like an authoritarian. It's just not British. Not British. Right. As you know. No, but as you know, nothing bad can come of this. Obviously, it I'm... can because I can get disciplined. Yeah, but I can do. Fair enough. That's yeah. okay. You've got yeah. me in the heart now. Yeah, I'm gonna... I, I can actually get disciplined for allowing you to film without authority. From uh, you know what? Out of a sign system. of peace and love, I'm, I'm going to stop filming now. Okay, we're. Outside the station, no issues now. Let's just see what we can get. 
We're at 12.7 times zoom. Is that close enough? Should we go a bit closer? 20 times zoom. Police searching Scottish passengers on the way to Glasgow. Bottle man. Oh shit, oh shit, he's, oh he's just... Perfectly normal for Manchester, man with two glass bottles threatening people. Why not? Perfectly normal. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. Bottle man is uh oh shit here he comes. Here comes glass bottle man. I've told the police I would be nice if they uh stopped a, a man armed with a glass bottle. He's already smashed the other one, he walked around with a sharp glass neck. I'm not stupid. Ah, you know I am, uh, who I am. I'm not going home. Why I go? No, why? Tell me who's telling you. It's been going on for about five minutes now. Are you Christian, bro? Quite an interesting watch. We've got a few spectators just hanging around having a. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they're going to do. Is he going to get arrested? Do you get arrested for going around with glass bottles, kicking off? It's the Wild West. He's not shot anyone. He's not stabbed anyone. They'll probably give him a medal, send him home, pay for his lunch. In Victoria, I've been having this stuff. You've got. You've got. You've got. You've my look, I I listen to music. My mobile is not working now. My mobile is not working. Oh my God! Look how healthy the doggy is now. Look, that's a starving dog. Lena, did you say the dog? Yeah, Lena. Lena and the and the brown Doberman. Dodd. Mr. Dodd. 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 Oh oh! I was going to get a shot of me snogging the dog, but maybe that's that's too. <laughs> look at these lovely Dobermans. I grew up with a Doberman, just for my viewers to know, called Butch. And he was a lovely, floppy-eared, gentle giant like these lovely doggos. I think I've watched every single video of your show. And then you were asking me, this is in a camera, then you were asking me, make sure to give me a solicitor there and then. Okay? Don't Breaking news, the police are going to let okay. him go. Let him go loose. Okay, plot thickens. It's not breaking news yet. The police has watched my footage on my phone of him outside the Weatherspoons bar. They're having a think. I think something might happen. They're having a think now. The video, how he was stuck, approached me the very first time. I was walking. I was walking. Yeah? I was walking. I did not come. 
I will not talk to him, okay? He talked to me. He swear me first time, yeah? After that, I said, I tell him, what, what's your problem, yeah? That guy said to me, put the water down. And I was trying to do Security Intelligence Service is uh, SIS, SIS is MI6. Yeah. Apparently, uh, they're listening. Try and get a front shot. That all backfired wonderfully. In the end, translator, and in the end, translator, and why are you punching me? You punching me? You punching me? What do you think guys? Is it a job for angle grinder man? Or is uh, Mr. Uh, Nissan GTR getting what he deserves? Answers on a postcard. Oh no, not on a, just put it in the comment section guys. What do you think? What do you think of the car? What do you think of the clampy clampy? Could you get through that with a little I reckon you could, it would take a while you know, little little strong, strong steel hacksaw thing. You could probably sort it out. It'd take you maybe 15 minutes to, to get through that. Okay, if anyone wants to uh, let them know on Instagram, Pro Vinyl Manchester, I assume something to do with uh, records or vinyls, his uh, material of choice for construction. Who knows? The reason I'm filming this, this smells amazing. Look at this. A bit of street barbecue going on, love it. Amber and you've been watching the Charlie Beach Show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about love now. And a lot of people don't understand the concept of love. But you gotta know. We know 
know how to spell love, but when it comes to show love, we like that. Do you know what I mean? We're all smart. We're all smart, ain't it? L-O-V-E, 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 L-O-V-E. Now the next minute, the next thing we gotta do after we can spell it is show it. Yeah. Because you know, I come to know the love of God is good, the love of God is right. And with that love, you always do everything that is good. You won't steal, you won't harm, you won't murder, you won't do any evil to anyone. Because love don't do nothing bad. Because love is not evil. Love is only good, and the love only does good. You know what I'm saying? Now, you may think you have love, but if you don't have God, you don't have that love that you need in this world. See, because God gives you that love. He adds that love. When you use that love, he gives you that love back and plus more. Woo! And you know by the love that you show to one another, nobody needs to know what you know. You, know? you feel good in showing that love. Because trust me, it makes you feel good. You put a smile on everybody's face, you put a smile on God's face. You know what I'm saying? Because he sees that you're showing love. He sees that you're trying to change the world by the love you show. You know, and if we had to change the world for the better, and I get to tell you that love is what would change the world for the better, and all you need to do is show love. But what is it? We hold back because we think we can change the world just the way we want to change the world. Man, you need love. You need love. And that's what I'm saying to you. You need love. You see, because somebody does something evil, it's because they didn't show love. Thank you very much, Patrick. God That's bless cool, you. Charlie. Nice to see you again.